Welcome to In the Groove. In the Groove is our interview segments and podcast from Zondorf Magazine, sponsored by Marshall Electronics and MXL Microphones, the future of audio technology available today. So today I have a special treat for you. We're going to be interviewing uh, Lord of Triton singer Fang. Now, originally we were supposed to be interviewing Ty Christian from Lords of Triton, but uh, well, he was eaten. So uh, we're going to go ahead and have Fang introduce himself to you and tell us about Lords of Triton. Fang? <laughs> Hello. Yes, this is Fang von Rathenstein, lead singer from the most metal band on earth, the Lords of the Trident. And uh, yes, I'll tell you a little bit about our band. Uh, you know, our band is, is basically comprised of uh, immortal musicians uh, who were who were coalesced, who were put together to create uh, the most metal band on earth. Our music uh, is so metal it's been banned in 36 countries. Uh, I've, I've heard that the UN is trying to get 37, so you know, hopefully we're, we've got our fingers crossed for that one. Uh, but essentially, you know, I, I was uh, around since the dawn of time, and, and uh, sort of my one quest was to put together uh, a band of immortal warriors who could produce the most pure, wonderful, amazing heavy metal known to men. So I've, I've searched the earth for many, many centuries, uh, putting together these immortal warriors. Uh, and there's, you know, it, it, essentially it's, it, it's this huge Homer-esque odyssey uh, uh, backstory. And so I won't go into every single detail, but uh, for those listeners out there who are interested, uh, you can check out online at our website, Lords of the Trident. Dot com. And for those of you in uh, in college currently, it's so long that I've heard that it, it qualifies for your, like, communications B requirements. So if you read the entire thing through, it's essentially worth, like, a credit or two. So so go to your professor and let him know. <laughs> wow. that That is pretty intense. So, so your new album is coming out on Killer Metal Records out of Germany. Yes, Germany. That's, yes. That's a pretty far trek from the U.S. where we're stationed. What's the name of the new album? The name of the new album is Frostburn, and we are super, super excited uh, to be releasing it. It is absolutely 100% hands down our best album yet. Uh, you know, normally when we finish an album, we, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get uh, a number of cages full of, you know, small, small animals, rodents, chihuahuas, things like that, and we'll hit play, and essentially we, we sort of clock in the time for the room to, to liquefy, more or less. And I gotta tell you, this time, point eleven seconds, which is like the best time we have ever had uh, uh, for you know for the room to basically just turn into like a poof of red mist. So like, <laughs> uh, essentially, I would recommend that uh, anyone, any mortal out there who listens to anything off of Frostburn, make sure you don your your heaviest, most secure armor before hitting play on your CD player. Um, and obviously make sure you sign the waiver on the inside of the CD jacket before you hit play. That's also sort of a legal requirement, you know. <laughs> so Frostburn is going to be released on Friday the 13th on uh, Killer Metal Records. And uh, yes. unfortunately, I, I am so sorry, Fang. I do apologize. I do not have any material from that album available. But uh, during this interview, you know, the Buffer Music before, we heard some of your material from your album Plan of Attack, and we'll play a couple more pieces throughout the interview. So, um... Just as a reference, how many albums do you have out right now? Well, uh, Frostburn will be our fifth album uh, and our third full-length album. We have uh, uh, our album Death or Sandwich, which was released in uh, 2009. We have Chains on Fire, which was released in 2011. Uh, of course, we have the, the, you know, what you've just referenced, uh, Plan of Attack, which was in 2013, also in 2013, uh, was our, our EP A Very Lords of the Trident Christmas uh, In which we covered some Christmas tunes And then, you know, Frostburn, of course Is coming out Friday the 13th In February 2015 And that will be our fifth album And that is a full-length album Wow, That's so you've got a pretty massive you know, Discography available right now And is this material available on your website? Can they download it or order the CDs? Well, uh, the CD after the CD comes out on Friday the thirteenth, they will be able to purchase uh, physical copies. If that's if that's what you're into, you know, if you like the the the, the smell and the taste of a, of a regular CD, then yeah, at, by all means, please order it online, Lords of the Trident dot com, and we will ship it to you uh, post haste. But if if uh, digital is more your thing, if you like the ones and the zeros to melt your faces off, 
uh, then we've got, you know, our music uh, will be on iTunes and Amazon and Bandcamp, and apparently Napster is still a thing, I just found out, so <laughs> it'll be on there. Um, it, I, I had no idea, to be perfectly honest, but essentially anywhere that MP3s are sold on the internet, you will find Lords of the Trident. Uh, a few years back, I took a barbarian IT uh, night class, you know, community college, and I learned all about these computer things, uh, and, uh, you know, I was just hooked, so... Essentially, we are just about everywhere we can be on the internet, and everywhere uh, MP3s are sold, you will find us. Well, I think Lars Ulrich owns Napster now, so that's probably why it's still in business. I mean, if he doesn't <laughs> own it, he, he probably would. Yeah. During our during our conversation before I start recording, you had made some references. Uh, you explained your music as uh, over the top '80s power metal, pyro, props, explosions, and um, you make you make some other bands with uh, a similar flavor to the music seem well, kind of like pansies. So, uh, how does that? How how would you describe yourself in the genre of stage core? Right, well, you, you know, I, I get this question a lot in terms of, like, well, who do you sound like? What are your influences, this and that and the other thing? Obviously, those sort of questions make sense for a band that, you know, is, is, is a, a new band. Yeah, and, but then, you know, for us, it's been, we've been around since the dawn of time, essentially, so it, it, it gets into this awkward territory, you know. I mean, you know, do I want to admit on the air that I gave Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden voice lessons? I mean, yes, I did, okay, a few, but, you know, I mean, it, it, I don't want to embarrass him, and we're friends, me and Brucey. Right? So the people say, well, who are your influences? And I like to think more of it as, like, who is, you know, subtly and maybe, you know, uh, maybe unbeknownst to them paying an homage to Lords of the Trident, to what, to what has come before them. And so, you know, if you say, well, what are, what are some bands that we like to listen to? What are some bands that we, we think that we, you know, uh, sound like, like uh, or, or that uh, have come from Lords of the Trident's influence? You know, I'd say Iron Maiden, uh, your Judas Priest, your Dio... Your sabotage. We also, you know, enjoy listening to the modern heavy metal as well. We enjoy uh, bands like Scar Symmetry. Uh, we listen to some Kill Switch Engage. But you know, on the road in our Trident Mobile, as we're traveling from town to town, pillaging and such. I mean, you know, there's a lot of open road between those towns, so we listen to quite a number of, of, of different things. Um, to answer your question about the stage show, yes, you know, we try to recreate essentially the feeling of being in a battle at every stage. You know, we, we don't really call them shows, we call them, we call them battles, because, you know, when people come out, uh, usually, I, you know, if, if we're having a bad night, 
everybody leaves with with one limb. If we're uh, if we're having a good night, then you know maybe half half of the the crowd the crowd just doesn't leave at all. Essentially, so uh, you know it's one of those like first fifteen rows. You know at Sea World they go you know hey, first fifteen rows you will get wet. It's one of the you know first fifteen rows you will catch on fire. So. You know, bring something non-flammable. Get your asbestos clothing out and put that on. So you, um, so but yes, we, so, so you play a show for about an hour, hour and a half, and then the other two and a half, three hours is hiding the bodies, really. Yeah, and, and clean up. And, and you know, sometimes if we have a really good night, essentially it just kind of implodes the uh, the, the venue more or less. You know, it, it's, it's sort of like a metal singularity. Uh, everything just sort of evaporates and explodes at once. Um, you know. I, I understand that some cities have, have issues with that in terms of fire codes and things like that, but I have to say that it is definitely an, uh, an economic uh, growth generator for the construction business in every city that we, draw, that we go to. <laughs> because, I mean, you know, somebody has to rebuild these venues, and so, we, you know, we only play certain places, well, you know, once every year or so, uh, just so they have time to sort of rebuild and mourn and, and get ready for the next, for the next concert season. <laughs> Yeah, I am really loving my job right now. This is fabulous. <laughs> really, I love my job, too.
what are you going to be doing stateside, um, European tour? What's going on there? Yes, well, right now, you know, uh, all of our efforts are going into our our CD release show, which is coming up Friday the 13th uh, in Madison, Wisconsin, which we are currently uh, situated in. You know, we're, we're, we're a very global band, obviously, but, but through, you know, very many different circumstances, we found ourselves uh, in, in the land of Wisconsin, in the city of Madison. Um, we actually had to move uh, 13 miles beneath the Earth's crust. We were in New York for a while and had to, had to move 13 miles beneath the Earth's crust to practice um, because we used to cause earthquakes accidentally when our bassist would break a string during practice. It was, it, it was awkward, and, and again, you know, my lawyers would like me to apologize on the air to Japan. You know, we had no idea about the whole tsunami thing. That was our bad. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, we decided, you know, the, the area around New York was a little bit too, you know, too sulfurish down in the caverns uh, in the Mohorovic discontinuity, which, for all you non geology nerds out there, is, is the cavernous region 13 miles beneath the Earth's crust. So we moved more to Madison, where the, you know there's a lot more clay deposits and soil, uh, and you know it sort of buffers the earthquakes a little better. You can barely feel them. Uh, but anyway, uh, yes, we're, we're we're planning for the CD release party Friday the 13th here in Madison, Wisconsin. If if any anybody listening to the show right now is anywhere within you know a, a 400 to 600 mile radius of Madison, Wisconsin, you know charter a jet, steal a bus, get on a jet ski. I don't care how you have to get out down here because we are putting on the best show and the biggest show that we have ever done ever it's going to be you know triple the explosions 10 times the fire uh and we we worked it out with some wonderful local uh, distilleries where we're going to have uh, free whiskey free vodka and free mead at the event you know of course the the viking uh, standard traditional drink of mead uh at the event from these local breweries and you know uh, we've we've offered them in return essentially that you know when we when we pillage the city as we do you know weekly i guess that we'll, we'll sort of spare their houses for a few weeks. So, um, you know, it's kind of a win-win situation. <laughs> it's a win-win. Uh, after that... Anybody that shows up, it's a win-win. I mean, you know, metal and whiskey. I mean, you can't... Right, win. right. I mean, how can you say, how can you say no? Uh, after that, we're, you know, we're, we're embarking upon this idea of instead of doing a, a, a giant tour like we've done for the past, uh, you know, past couple years, instead of doing a, a big, long tour... Uh, uh, Asian Metal, our, one of our uh, guitarists, has, has come up with this operation uh, that he has dubbed Operation Kitty Whiskers, because uh, what we're planning on doing is in- instead of doing this big giant tour, we're going to do a bunch of little small tours and spread out. We're going to pick a direction. So, like, say, okay, you know, it's, it's going to be March. We're going to go, I don't know, northeast, and we'll play two, three, four shows going in the direction specifically of northeast, and then we'll head back. And, okay, now it's April. We'll say southwest, and we'll do, you know, two, three, four shows going as far as we possibly can before the, the Trident Mobile breaks down uh, and we have to, you know, sell, sell things to get back to Madison, uh, that, that sort of thing. So, you know, instead of doing, instead of looking for us, you know, during the summer, uh, during the, the standard, you know, touring concert season, essentially check our website and, uh, and see when we'll be in your area because it could be very soon. And if we catch you unprepared, you know, obviously that's a bad thing for you and your family. Uh, you want to make sure that there's at least bars on the windows and you've locked up all of your daughters before they'll just try to get into the town. <laughs> Lock up your daughters. They're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what was that website again? It is lordsofthetrident.com. Very easy to remember. That's our one-stop shop for anything related to Lords of the Trident. Uh, you know, if you're on Facebook, you can check us out, facebook.com slash lordsofthetrident. We're on Twitter. We're on Reverb Nation. Uh, we're on MySpace for some reason. I don't think anyone checks it anymore. And, and you know, it, it kind of went downhill ever ever since all the glittery gifts, you know, the misspelled, like, you're awesome, uh, stopped being a thing. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, essentially Jeez, anywhere... Yeah, essentially anywhere that the Internet uh, has, we are. Uh, like I said, you know, with that barbarian IT classes. And a lot of time during the day when I'm not writing lyrics or melting faces or grinding axes or things like that. You know, I, I spend it mostly on the computer... Uh, checking out different sites um, and uh, I should especially take a moment to say that uh, if you check out our YouTube page youtube.com slash lords of the trident we just came out with a brand new music video uh, off of for, for this song Winds of the Storm off of Frostburn so I know earlier you were lamenting uh, that you, ha- you had nothing off of Frostburn to play on the show and uh, luckily for you your listeners can go right now to youtube.com slash lords of the trident or just search lords of the trident on YouTube and, and see the winds of the storm 
music video. Uh, although, you know, it, it has been known to melt hard drives and faces, so make sure you use the most metal web browser that you can possibly use, which I believe is Chrome, because there's no other web browsers that actually are, are a metal. You know, there's Firefox and Internet Explorer, and Chrome is the only, like, metal out of the, the three that I know of. So, uh, so make sure you're using that, otherwise your computer may melt. And if you have to sacrifice a computer, go ahead and sacrifice your Mac, because, you know, they're fairly useless anyway. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, just to let uh, our followers and readers and listeners know that we're going to go ahead and uh, do our best to get some of the material from Lords of the Trident on our website. Uh, maybe they will grace us with a digital download, which you'll be able to receive for a limited time. And you can also check out our YouTube page, and we'll go ahead and uh, simulcast the video, Winds of the Storm, from Lords of the Trident. So you can get it for your own pleasure. And uh, remember... Leave the Vaseline on the counter. No pleasure <laughs> yourself. Leave that to them. So, Fang, any parting words for our listeners? Uh, we're going to be able to hear this on our podcast site on SoundCloud, on MixCloud, and directly off of our website, www.zombiewolf.com. That's Zombie Wolf with an X. Learn to spell, people. <laughs> and uh, So, Fang, any last words? Well, I'd just like to thank you for you know taking the time to, to speak with me today and and, uh, you know, for any of you, you know, unwashed, unworthy minions out there who, who know not of Lords of the Trident, I would recommend that you tell at least a hundred of your friends uh, that we exist and that we're coming for you. Uh, so you must be prepared. Uh, you know, I always love when, when you know, we, we roll into a city and everyone's like, Oh, my God, I had no idea they were coming. But it's also, you know, it gets boring after a while. We, we just slay the entire population. And, you know, it, it's great when they try to mount a challenge. You know, when there's a, there's a ragtag team of, people with the uh, spaghetti strainers on their hats and, you know, like daggers, you know, it's, it's fun. It's just fun for us. So make sure that people know that Lords of the Trident exists and we're coming for you to steal your gold and your women uh, and that, you know, in order to survive, you definitely should download uh, almost all of our records. Uh, uh, in fact, you should probably download all of them. And, uh, and, and if you don't like to download, you should purchase them online, lordsofthetrident.com. Uh, and we're actually just coming out with a brand new, you know, I, I know I run into a lot of people who say, well, <clears throat> I'd love to, you know, come to your concerts, bang, but I, I have no armor. I'm, 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 you know, scared about the t-shirt just in, instantly catching on fire and, and me dying. Well, luckily for you, we are coming out this week with a brand new t-shirt, uh, which is actually printed with armor on the front and a printed dagger that wraps around the side. So essentially, if you buy this t-shirt, you will never be caught without armor. You know, you'll be saved from all those all of those random dragon attacks and 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 uh, your your mu your more mundane you know falls and slips in the bathtub uh, that happen day to day. So so check out our website, lordsofthetrident.com. Go to the merch section, pick up some shirts, pick up some CDs, and uh, like I said, tell at least a uh, hundred thousand of your friends. All right. Well, this is Joe Timmons from Zombie Wolf Magazine, and in the groove our podcast exclusively available on Mixcloud, Soundcloud, and Zombiewolf.com. And we've had Fang from Lords of the Trident in our podcast interview room today. And I would just like to say once again, thank you. And uh, stay tuned, people. There's more coming up. We're going to be making a lot more podcasts and having a lot more great guests like Fang. And who knows, maybe uh, they get over to Germany uh, when they get some time between their uh, pillage and murder and sacrificing of the virgins. They might go ahead and give us a call in before a show and let us know just how much of Germany is left standing. So, <laughs> you guys take it easy. Thanks a lot, Fang, and uh, best of luck in your travels, journeys, and try not to eat too many of the villagers. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, people. Later. Strong back and a sword in hand. For each other I come bitch.